Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new boss sim. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the preserve keyword. Now if you remember in the last tutorial, we created a little application that has two list boxes. It has the first array and then the new array after we redeclare it by using the redim keyword. And we went through and we used a for each loop to add each item to the first list box before it's changed. Then we redeclared it using redim, and then we added the um, two values to the end of it that weren't already there. And then when we added them again, you can see that we get a problem here. We have blank um, values inside of our uh, array. Now here, I'll just show you guys what will happen if we don't have the brackets here. So if we go ahead and delete these, you're going to see that we get an error because it cannot reference nulls and place them in a list box. So we'll go ahead and click redim, and you can see that the application freezes up. It says value cannot be null, parameter name item. So the way we fix this is just by adding the brackets around it so at least there's something being put into the list box. So we'll go ahead and stop it here, or we can drag this arrow right up there and then continue running it. And we close out of that. And you can see that it works just fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the preserve keyword. So, sorry, I had to pause there so I may be off topic a little bit. But um, after we use the redim keyword, we can use the keyword preserve. Now, if you read the description for this, it says, prevents the content, contents of an array from being cleared when the dimensions of the array are, ch of the array are changed. So it just preserves the original array, array you had and adds on the existing items. And now redim, that stands for redimension. So um, if we go ahead and run this, you can see that if we click redim, we get basketball, I mean baseball, basketball, and football over here, then baseball, basketball, football, wakeboarding, and soccer. So you can see that it preserved all of the items in our string sports. Now let's go ahead and make the array smaller and you will see that data is lost even though we use um, preserve so we'll just add soccer here so if we redeclare and preserve or redim and preserve string sports but this time we only let it hold four spaces or let's say four spaces instead of five if we go ahead and run this you can see that we get baseball, basketball, football, wakeboarding, and soccer. And down here we get baseball, basketball, football, and wakeboarding. So even though you use the preserve keyword, uh, data is still going to be lost if you make your array smaller. Now if we just redeclare it right here and run it, you can see that it gives us four blank spots because we did not preserve what we already had in there and we made it smaller so, even, so data is lost and there is nothing down here um, after wakeboarding. So we just have an empty array that holds four spaces. So preserve is a very simple concept. It should be, you should catch on to it really quick. Um, once you practice a little bit with redim and preserving arrays, um, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And if it's not out yet, just uh, wait a little bit and it'll probably be posted soon. So thanks for watching, guys.